Today we got a Massey Ferguson that I just finished up. Uh, pretty similar to the John Deere I did last time. A little bit more simple, these models. Uh, as usual, we got the main bolting points for the cab. In this case, I was able to use the original holes so I didn't have to drill no holes in the floor. And uh, just like the other cab, in the summertime, these doors are easily removable. Simply remove your shock, undo the safety chain, and this door will come right off the hinges. Put it away for the summertime, and you're still wide open. You can get out and in. I'm gonna get inside here. As usual, we got an LED dome light. All our switch panel is here. Little fuse box inside of there for all the uh, the accessories. We got front lights, back lights, front wiper, back wiper. This is your heater button. Works really well. I always plumb these right into the cooling system of the tractors. You get great heat. Other than that, we got our circulation fan back here. Two speeds. Back window, a little lock here. Everything works great. I'll show you around the back. I always design these doors so that when you close them, it actually sucks the door in. Very solid, no rattles. The original lights used to be on the roll bar. Put them on the cab now. This is here, this here is where I cut and cap the roll bar. This becomes the main bolting point of the cab. Again, very solid. You'll never have an issue with this cab. This guy, this client, he asked me to make him a step for the passenger side because he had none. So I made him a nice little step, the usual way that I do it. It's rock solid and it's, it can bolt on and off. Here I want to take it off. I like doing the Masseys versus the John Deere's. The John Deere's are the worst ones to put a cab on. A lot, lot more work, fabrication time. This guy will be happy for a long, long time. Yeah, and if he ever wants to sell his tractor, well, he's gonna get his money back. I do a lot of these models. I must have done at least a dozen of these same Masseys over the years. They're pretty popular and uh, they don't come with a cab and they're hard to get a cab. I deal with a lot of those kind of tractors that there's simply nothing available, but it turned out great. And the next one I'm doing will be a, a larger Kubota. So in a month or so from now, we'll have a, a Kubota video. I should have started doing these little videos a long time ago because I've been doing this for just cabs only for like 12 years now. It's all I've been doing, and uh, I, I've done a lot of them. And I'm sure the client's gonna be happy when he receives this. We're sending this one up tomorrow morning, and we'll start our next one next week. Other than that, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video.